Welcome to the footy wrap for round nine. Joining me again, the You champion. almost started without me. I was barely there. Oh, Would you, you do this if... You should be on there anyway. Well, no, I prefer... I want to go this side just for a change. Uh, look, round nine, it's a week when, according to Neil Danaher, footy sucks. Mm. And there's two teams still without a win. Nine losses, Richmond and Melbourne. And Melbourne were desperately unlucky, losing by one point. They just couldn't quite hang on against mm. the Kangaroos. But don't blame Travis continues. Johnson. Richmond... Suffered a similar sort of fate. They look like they were in a winning position. Yeah. Richo just gave a little nudge to Mal Michael, turned around and kicked a goal with three minutes to go that looked like the clincher. Oh, I don't know. A little that's nudge. A, well, that's the con- bone of contention. I'd say it? it was more like a remedial massage. So the, the hands in the back rules come under fire again. Mm. Did Richo push him in the back? See, I don't think it's so much the rule. I think it's the player. Like, it was Richo, you know, and we know that Richo has a tendency to do silly things. Like, if it had yeah. been anyone else, I think they would have just let it go. Do you think he just is cursed? Does he just oh, have bad luck in his Yeah, team? I think this is this is, is not it a just on game thing day. Or, no. You know? In day to day life, things we take for granted. I just mm. don't think things work out for Richo. I've been on hold for forty five minutes and all I want to do is pay a bill. And that's all. I just press three and put my digits in. Oh yes! Alright, Grace. Oh, oh I hung up! Oh, you got the stains yeah, out. Yeah, pretty awesome. much got it out. Although, uh, yes, unfortunately, yes! we had a new guy start this week, and um, he's actually spilt some raspberry lemonade on the other sleeve there. Oh so what? There's nothing. Oh there. what? Oh what? Congratulations, Mr. Robinson. It's a it's a healthy baby boy. So. <laughs> hang on, hang on. My name's Richo. It's Richardson. Richardson. Richard. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. It's it's a girl actually. What? And what? What? And it's not yours. I... What? I was at um, Terry Wallace's press conference um, earlier today, and here's what he had to say about it. From where we uh, we saw it, I think Matthew only made comment on the uh, on the rule. He certainly didn't make any comment on the uh, the umpires. And I think, in fact, he's gone at lengths to sort of say that he thought the rule, uh, the decision was right in relation to what the rule is at the moment. Doesn't like the rule and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's his uh, his choice on that. Paul, I don't know whether you caught the Herald Sun this, this week, but um, Ned Kelly might have played a few games of AFL. The, Ned Kelly? Yeah. Australia's well, national hero? Yeah. Um, I'll just read from the Herald Sun here. Yeah. It says that there's been a rumour that Ned played 11 games in the Williamstown Reserves and then he got suspended for hitting an umpire. <laughs> Well, did he hit the umpire with a bullet? <laughs> I don't think I'd want to be Adrian Anderson if he was playing today. No, that's right. Yeah. That is sort of make the Chris Judd eye gouging incident look pretty tame, really, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, well, so look, what, what are your thoughts on Chris Judd? Oh, I'm not too sure. Maybe Chris Judd <laughs> he... should have worn... No, Campbell Brown should have worn the Ned Kelly armour, <laughs> then we wouldn't have an issue. I don't know, could he be the AFL's new bad boy? He could be. You know, maybe it's like, you know, in the in the soapies when you've got the good guy and then all of a sudden the good guy goes bad? Oh, yeah. Maybe we're, you know, maybe we're, we're slowly seeing the new uh, Phil Carmen of the AFL. <laughs> Kerr's gone and then uh, uh, Judd's could be gone and then Simon Black, my man, floating around third favourite. Got him at about 45 to 1. I'm getting a little bit excited. I tell you what, if I win, you'll see a change in the footy rap next year. Really? Oh, but it'll be big budget. <laughs> you'll barely appear. Time for our advertorial, our weekly advertorial on the footy rap. You got the memo? No. Hey, footy darts. My good friend, Dale Wilson, he uh, sent in a uh, package of footy darts for us. It's a brand new AFL game. Everyone's playing it, okay. and it's just like a game of darts, we... but it's set up like a football game. What do we get for this? Well, I... I, I, I sorted out a sponsorship deal for us, mate. Did you? Yeah. What do we get? We, we, we get a game of, of footy darts. All right, well, let's have a go. So, I what you do it. is you just got to start in the centre and then you just work your way up to your forward line, all right? So, there you go. That, that, oh, that's almost centre, all right? And then you get it, yeah, you get it there. You got it half forward. So, you know, Richo's got it. And then, oh, that, well, no, that probably wouldn't happen. It'd be probably out there, okay? But yeah, it's footy darts. But this isn't the only game that's available. Like, Dale has sort of uh, inspired me to come up with my own game, and that is uh, Footy Cluedo, where, you know, you've got scenarios like uh, Daniel Kerr in the garage with uh, a car aerial. Just in closing, Paul and I would like to give our congratulations to Jeff White and his lovely wife, who just had a... A uh, newborn baby named Kalani. So uh, what, congratulations what to both of them. What is oh. this? This is like our weekly. We don't want to do Nick. We, we did the sort of pathetic and the and the footy sucks thing. So I just wanted to do a few. Oh, this is is this the story you do after the weather before you roll the credits to the news? <laughs> um, 
so she joins a lot of footy babies with creative names. I think that that's lovely that you choose, you know, a unique name for your baby. Like, right. um, for example, um, who have we got? Brisbane Lions, Tim Notting, Scott, son, Baxter. Robert right. Copeland has a son. Brock. Brock. Yeah, oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, Brett Kirk's daughter's a name, Tallulah, Memphis, um, and Indy. It's a nice, nice name. They're pretty edgy there. Spider Everett's got... Um, a boy named Boston, oh. a little brother for his girls, Caitlin, Summer, and uh, Anus. Is that, what what and was the last one? Uh, anus. It's a N A I S. An Anus. Anus. Gee, I tell you what, primary school is going to be a barrel laugh for that kid. And Byron Pickett's daughters are named uh, Michaela, Shawana, and Lakeisha. And they'll all be appearing on the Jerry Springer show next week. But he called his son Byron. Oh. After himself, so. Well, you know, uh, Richo's uh, wife is pregnant with triplets. Oh, really? That's yeah. unlucky. It's gonna he's going to call them. Oh, what? <gasps> no way! Oh, get 